How are you going to get all these people to a racetrack during their lunch hour? Well, the answer is we don't need to. The racetrack is already here. Yes, go to any business park anywhere and you'll find long straights, flowing roundabouts, sharp bends, and the lot. There's a circuit to rival Silverstone or Laguna Seca right outside your office window. Today, we've chosen Horton Hall Business Park near Dunstable. So, let's see what kind of track it can provide. This is the uh, Kia Picanto GT line, the hardest ship in the Picanto range. Is 80 it? horsepower from 1.25 yes, yes, metres. Just get in the bloody thing. I'm having to say a lot because it takes him quite a long time to get in. Shut up! Right, so what are we doing? We're going down the straight here towards the first uh, roundabout, which is Froughton's Haulage. I like the break in distance mark, because that's a nice touch, very professional. This is the whip red, extremely tight left-hander and into car park A. Now, there's a speed hump and then the soon-to-be-immortalised Smoker's Shelter Complex. Nice. Which is what we're in now. Dab of brakes, apex it there, and we're into car park B. This is office chair Ben, this is the chicane. Very nice. Before we go back onto the beginning and ending straight and head towards Mannington Plastics Roundabout, leaders in injection molding technology solutions. Excellent, quite the landmark. Keep it wide, half throttle, look for the exit, and there we are, across the line. Once you're across the line, you can slow down. No point in, in continuing to go fast, because you could have an accident doing that. <laughs> With the track signed off, we selected two firms to go head-to-head -head during their lunch hours. Today, the competitors are Storage King, self-storage made simple, and Cura Technical, leading providers of IT support solutions. And once their contenders had been selected, it was time for the driver briefing. Each entrant from each firm does one time lap. Using those lap times, we'll whittle down our entrance until we have the best driver from each of the two firms. Haven't everybody in the room can read? Shut up. They'll then go head to head in the grand final to decide the ultimate winner of today's round. With Hammond's presentation over, it was time to begin the qualifying laps that would decide which employees would represent their firms in the shootout grand finale. What we have first is we have Pete from Cura Technical. He is the regional manager for Bedfordshire and the Midlands in his Vauxhall SRI Astra. In three, two, one, go! As the regional manager scorched away, I commandeered the security hut so that I could use its CCTV feed to commentate on the action. There's a complex of turns through here, really, more than just one, and that speed hunt to deal with as well. He's done that, he is through. He's on his way through the office chair complex. I can't see him on that security camera. Here he is, he's coming his way back up the street. 200 brake horsepower, useful now. He's gonna make his way towards Fort Norwich, which is soon to become the ending line. Huge amount of noise, and across the line. After a cracking qualifying performance from Pete of Cura Technical. One minute, yes. 6.16. Storage King sent out their first driver, hot hatch enthusiast Darren from Logistics. Two, one, go! Do like a clear. Oh, some sideways action. Oh, lovely work. By ragging his Clio for all it was worth, <laughs> Storage King's Darren banged in a scorcher of a qualifier. Oh! One minute, yes. 5.97. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Cura Technical, it's Nick from Accounts, who will be looking to balance the books. Oh, God. He's making puns. It's three, two, one, and he's off! <laughs> Despite being at the wheel of a motorway cruiser, Nick seemed determined to top the timing charts. Oh, this looks fast to me, towards Smoker's Corner. However... And he's... Yeah, that's looking... That's looking... No, that's not under control, because he's binned it! Oh. He's binned it. He's binned it at bin corner, appropriately enough. It is a DNF for Nick from Accounts. The fleet manager is not going to be pleased. There are going to be words when he gets back after lunch, I suspect.